What is up, goons, gangsters, and gamers? It is your boy, the Good Sir Knight. Today we're doing a review, oh noble viewer, on the ANA Tactical little mesh maritime helmet cover. So, a lot of different helmet covers on the market. Different helmet covers have a variety of different options. And this one, well, this one's got the little mesh attachment that doesn't fit super tight to the helmet, but that's okay because that's going to help us break up the overall. Uh, design and everything of that, so it's not going to look as solid helmet-like. Kind of like the, it wasn't that crazy, if you played CSGO, you know that crazy Russian helmet cover that's all like poofed out pillow-like, to help break up the head silhouette. Yeah, kind of like that, but not nearly as extreme. So, M81, which apparently M81 has their own Ellen Velcro uh, material, which is actually really, really cool. So, that breaks up there. Um, for the mesh, the only color they really had available at the time I ordered was OD Green, which is perfectly okay because we've got uh, M81 Cries now, so that's going to all match together, blend in a bit better than the uh, tan setup there. Um, what else do we got going on? So, helmet covers. Each one's different. A lot of them have little loops and hard points and stuff so you can run wires and whatnot. This, um, this doesn't have any wire running stuff. It's all Velcro all the way up to the uh, shroud, your NVG shroud up there, uh, Velcro on the sides, and a bunch of Velcro here on the back, which actually works really well. This is a uh, UR, what was it, UR Ops Tactical little um, counterweight that I'm basically just using to hold a spare clip, so when I run the gas mask, I know where my uh, chin strap extender is. But yeah, that looks really cool, but this is all Velcro on the back here, so I actually cut off the little... Um, attachment here with all the velcro and all that stuff that's just been chopped away it's been mineralized down just to a pouch and this is where i'm going to run my uh, wires and whatnot for the uh, amps as soon as they come back in on the mail so this has so much velcro that the pouch fits perfectly on there because the pouch is velcroed all the way through so that's a really nice combination you could do there that i thought was pretty cool um as you can see uh this is sewn together here it's not super loose but it's got a ton of grip. There's a ton of Velcro on the inside that's running to all the uh, internal Velcro and stuff. So it's all nice and clean together. So, what does this help with? Well, most notably, the uh, camouflage helps blend in and also helps deaden any uh, branches and stuff that's going to be banging up against your helmet, causing all sorts of problems, gets rid of all the sheen. And you can still run it with your neato little step and visor, which I can never get this freaking gasket to stay in place. Yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead. We're going to slap that on real quick and get a good feel for how it looks. I'm assuming it'll look a lot better once we get the amps in. I actually found out someone does make uh, the... I know they had amp covers for the... Um, whatchamacallit... For the... Uh, multicam. Yeah, and I just think some guys now like making like custom ones for everything else. So you can actually get custom amp covers. I'm hoping... It shouldn't be too far into the future that they start making the M81 covers. And we'll slap all those together. So we're going to throw in our uh, solder here. I've been using this almost every day now. It works fantastic. I like the little chin strap design. We're going to slap that on with our goggles. Just see how that looks without the uh, amps going on. So, clear that out. Drop in the visor. Oh, yes, so on. So this is it. Well, the base fit under the amps. So this is going to start ear protection there. Doing the port, yeah, we got our cool one and one stuff going on. Yeah, we are looking pretty fantastic. So, grab your little blaster, slap that down that way. And yeah, so it does give you a bit better cover concealment. You can shoot this pretty well with the soda and stuff. All of which is entirely irrelevant to our helmet cover story, but I mean, if you got the chance to look cool on camera, you gotta take it, right? Pretty easy to move, not as bad as it used to be. Just a bit more cardio will be doing fine on that. Is my TV still on? Huh, oh well. So yeah, totally covered. There's a lot of them. Put that down, okay. Pop that free, yeah, so helmet covers. A lot of things you can do. So yeah, we don't have too many hard points, but we also don't have too many like crazy devices and stuff up on our kit. Anyway, let me pop this step and visor free real quick. Yeah, just like that. And if you take a look here, you can see it runs from this single little sewn-in band underneath the shroud. A lot of the shroud here is actually covered. Let me pop that free. 
So the shroud gets covered except for the uh, actual access point and the bungees. So a lot of stuff goes on. You can see that's a little V-cut there. So when we upgrade the shroud next month, we'll see if that's problematic or not. I think it's going to be just Gucci. And yeah, I really like the way it came out. It's mostly mesh all the way on the bottom. You can actually see back there there's a bit of mesh going on. It attaches via four points on the inside of the helmet, so on the sides of the front pad and on the sides of the rear pad, and that's going to give you all the uh, comfort you need. So, it's nice and secure. It took a second to get together. I kind of like it going over the rails, honestly, just because it gives you a little bit more camo and protection for said rails. But yeah, so that's all there really is. There's not too much to say about it, and it looks cool as hell. And it's one of the few helmet covers in M81 that's readily available for the Opscore Maritime. So that's all I got for you guys. Just want to show off the cool helmet cover. It'll look better when we get the uh, new rails and whatnot installed on here. And uh, new rails, new shroud. And what else were we going to do? There's something else I was going to do with it. Oh, yeah, amps. So we'll get this all peached out and we'll be looking pretty good. So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. ANA Tactical, I know they've got a few reviews on their website, but as far as helmet covers go, I'm really digging it. Because I didn't really use all those loops and stuff anyway. Being able to route everything through this uh, little battery pack is all I really needed. So, cheers! See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Where's the button?